Reporters ready? I'll say. We'll get started. All right. Well, um, you know, obviously, uh, I thought our energy level, as, as much as it, uh, we were disappointed about the energy level last week, the first half, I thought our energy level this week, uh, as we came out and approached the game, was was uh, much better. I think our play was an indication of that. Um, and uh, so I was pleased with the way our guys came out. Um, but uh, up 23 to 7, and um, and just really, really not not having not having it in us to, to be able to learn how to play four solid quarters has been kind of been the theme all year long, and um, that's uh, that's been the concern. We were we, we came out after half. We had a great plan, and uh, just unable to get anything going at all. And so uh, um, that was disappointing. Uh, our guys are, are are playing hard, but uh, you know any any time we get a little bit of adversity to hit us. We've got to learn how to deal with adversity, and um, that's something that we've kind of struggled with. Uh, we've got to get better in the trenches, um, both offensively and defensively. That's, uh, that's that's kind of a kind of an area we, we've always kind of hung our hat on running the football, and we only have 40 yards rushing tonight. Was uh, was you know you, you can't beat a team like that with 40 yards rushing. So uh, uh, got a short week. So uh, we, you know there's there's nobody feeling sorry for us, and nobody gonna feel sorry for these guys. We're gonna get back in here and go to work and and uh, travel down to Houston. The rushing number is obviously skewed by the sacks. Um, from your perspective on the sideline, were those sacks more on the line, or was Matt holding the ball too long, looking downfield, trying to create something? Yeah, I, I think a little bit of both. I think I know a couple of times Matt had an opportunity just to throw the ball away, and uh, you know, he runs out of bounds, taking a couple of sacks, uh, holding the ball a little long, trying to make something happen. Um, you know, as far as just a straight cover sack, I, I don't know how many of the eight were just straight, or I'm sorry, breakdowns up front. I, I don't know that. Uh, there was probably a couple, but, you know, again, that, that's just, you know, Matt's, Matt's a competitor. Matt's a guy that tries to make plays, and, and uh, sometimes when you do that, it gets, you in, it gets you in a bind. And so those are things he's got to continue to learn and throw the football away. Their coverage was seemed strong all day. Was there something they were doing, or they just had good athletes back there? Uh, especially to hold Sutton, you know, limit yeah. his big plays. Yeah, you know, I, I thought they uh, – obviously, Coach has done a great job there. And uh, Coach McNeil's done an outstanding job and got great respect for him. And, and um, you know, they they, they're, they were going to play coverage behind Cortland and, um, and force us to – somebody else was going to have to beat them. It wasn't going to be Cortland. And, um, and so, you know, so they had that – but we knew that. We moved Cortland around and we could – you know, we were able to tell all that. But uh, – um, you know, when that happens, somebody else has got to step up. And uh, you know, I, I thought really, you know, you're, even even at halftime, you're still up. Uh, we had a, we had a great a great plan coming out after after a half. Uh, we knew exactly what they were doing, and and uh, just the inability to get anything going. Uh, it, it's like the moment adversity hits, um, you know, you just you you, you, you just feel the air in the sidelines come out. I mean, they get the ball, start the second half, they go down and score, and it's. Well, hey, we got a whole half here, guys. Let, let's keep battling. Let's keep fighting. And um, we've been down before. We've been down 42-17 and battled back. And and uh, you know that's just that's something that these guys are having to learn. And um, um, and it's it's a uh, it's a process right now. Well, I, you know, I'll go and watch the film. I mean, I, I thought they did okay. Um, obviously, from our depth standpoint, we had to, we had to have them today, uh, especially when, when you lose Jonathan right off. Um, and so, uh, you know, those guys, uh, you know, they're getting they're they're like everybody else right now. They're they're in there, and it's we're moving guys around, and we're trying to find the right combination, and and you know, you're you're, you're just trying to find the right fit. And and I will say this: I thought our defense played harder. Uh, I thought they had some stops. And we were unable to capitalize. And a football team like we have right now, when we do make stops, we have to capitalize. And um, you know, we 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 have got to take advantage of every opportunity that we get. And um, and we've got to learn how to deal with adversity. And that comes with time. Uh, <clears throat> but um, our guys will continue to play hard, and they're going to continue to fight hard. And um, we got a lot of ball left ahead of us. I mean, you're 0 and 1 in conference. I mean, it's it's. Uh, I mean, you know, somebody's got to get us going, though. I mean, we we got we got to get this thing pointing in the right direction and and um, and continue to, to 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 push toward our goals. So our goals are still at reach, and um, we've got uh, you know we, we play a very talented Houston team this week. Well, you had Kyrie Brooklyn as a star there, mm -hmm. and Shaq playing for the 
You know, I did. I, I thought so. I thought Kyron made some plays, um, and I thought Shaq made some plays. Uh, again, they're, they're, it's uh, uh, when they when they when they put the you know put uh, um, what was it uh, Summers? Is that who? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, you know, I thought that you know he he definitely added another dimension in the run game, and so uh, and that's been our Achilles heel all year, and so we've got to we got to continue to to, to work on that and. Um, but guys are guys are being you know put in different situations, different uh, positions, and you know you've got you only got so many guys, and so we're we're, we're trying to move guys around and, and putting guys in the right spot. And, and uh, but uh, the thing that they'll do, they'll respond. Our guys are going to respond. They're going to come out. They're going to play hard, and they're going to respond. And, and uh, we're not letting up. Ain't nobody going to come back in here tomorrow and and, and give up. I, mean, I promise you that. These guys are going to fight hard, and and uh, we'll have a great plan going down to to Houston. You got I'm sorry? Do you feel prepared enough for any more attention on Portland? Do I feel prepared for what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we knew, you know, people are going to do that to you. I mean, that's what they're going to do. They're going to play coverage over the top of Cortland. When they are, you got to be able to run the football. you got to be able to run the football, and you got somebody else on the outside somewhere else has got to step up and make some plays. I thought we had more drops tonight than we've had. Um, I thought we had some drops in some, some critical situations that, um, that, 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 could have kept drives going, and um, but uh, but again, you know, part of that's being young. Yeah, you guys were only two or fourteen yeah. on third down. Who's the guy that you would usually go to on on third down if you guys were struggling? Well, a lot of it depends on your down and distance, but uh, you know, two or fourteen is is obviously not 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 very good at all, and you can't keep the chains moving at, at that. And you know, Matt's done a really good job in the past of making plays with his feet and getting us getting us out of trouble. Um, you know, you you like to to uh, you know, felt like we had a couple of, of, of really good calls. We had a couple of drops in there. Had a couple of bad calls, but you know, those are some things that we just got to keep. You got to keep getting better at. I mean, you know, you, you you got a great third down plan. You spend most of your week on third downs and trying to have a great plan for it, and um, and you try to adjust as they go. When Younger got ejected, was did that force Coach Malone to call? Different things defensively, or was it just next man up, step into his role? Yeah, no, it, it was next man up. Yeah, you you just try to you you know you put the next guy out there, and and uh, well, I thought we did a really good job this week of trying to simplify a lot of things. You know, I, I thought that was my challenge to our defensive staff is let's just get good at something, let's simplify some things and get good at something, and and uh, um, that was an area that that uh, we felt like we could do, and so it was you know it was unfortunate that we lost him, but. Uh, um, and somebody else had to step in and play. How do you assess the, the offensive line? I mean, you can look at the numbers and not a good day for them. What did you see? Well, I mean, you know, without watching film, you know, I thought we've played better. Um, I really do. I thought we've had, had better games. But, uh, um, you know, my disappointment was, if, you know, our, you know I, I was really hoping we could run the football a little bit more than what we were able to. Um, and um, but again, those eight sacks are not all on the offensive line. It, it, you know, that, by no means of that. But uh, I thought they did some good things at times. I really thought I really thought our protection was good at times. And we just you know we held on the ball and and um, you know you got to be able to step up and throw the ball away, find your check downs, and get to the next get to the next uh, your next read. But obviously, the fans didn't show up in numbers like they usually do. What's your next plan to motivate the student body? Well, you know, I, our student body's been great this year. Um, and uh, you know, again, I, I've said it from the get-go. You got to put a product on the field. Our guys have got to perform, and uh, and they have been. They're working hard. Our guys are working extremely hard, and, and our fans are great. I mean, our fans will be back, and uh, you know, we need their support. We need them now more than we ever need them. And uh, those I appreciate those that were there and stayed. But uh, uh, you know, we're, we're I think I've, I've I've reached out to every organization and shook just about every hand and. And uh, so we've we've uh, we've got to continue to get better at at, uh, at putting the product on the field. What's going to be the biggest challenge getting ready for Houston on a short week? Yeah, I think just to, from a mental standpoint, right now for these young these guys, you know, when you come in off of off of a, a loss like we just had right now, you got to be able to shake it tomorrow, and it's it's a new day. The season has to start tomorrow, and so that's uh, that's going to be our challenge for these guys is to get your body fresh, get 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 ready to go. Everybody at this point in time in the season is is. Uh, you know they're 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 getting into what you call the dog days of football, and and you got to be able to battle through. And you know, only the strong are going to survive this 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 run right now. What led to the decision to go with William Barnes at guard? Just the way he practiced this week. 
Yeah, just the way he practiced. I was I was pleased the way he practiced, and he, uh, you know, he, he brought a little bit of fight to him. And and uh, again, we're trying to we're trying to find the right combination up there with some injuries that we've had. So I thought he I thought he did well. I know he was really communicating on the sidelines. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. All right, appreciate it. Thank that. you.